For more than 20 years, the Annie E. Casey Foundation has used results-based leadership development to help leaders in the social and public sectors achieve better outcomes for children and families. One of the tools of results-based leadership is the concept of high action, high alignment. Do you ever find yourself working very, very hard toward an important result, but at the end of the year, it feels like no progress has been made? Or did you ever have a great series of meetings with a group of partners and feel like you had complete agreement on a big goal you wanted to achieve, but you never got beyond talking? Achieving large-scale results that change lives for kids, families, and communities takes more than hard work, and it takes more than agreement. To reach goals that really make changes, you need both hard work and agreement on what you're working toward and the right way to get there. That's called working in high action and high alignment. High action captures actions that both contribute effectively to the result and are frequent enough and large enough to make a measurable difference. High action requires leaders to examine what they do, how much they do, and whether what they do contributes to the result. Alignment means that your contributions are in sync. You're working together, sharing resources, using shared and complementary performance measures. You're supporting each other and bringing the best of what you know, who you are, and the role you hold to make something happen. The opposite of this is low action and low alignment, which occurs when your group isn't working together. You're sitting on the fence watching others work or waiting for direction. High action, high alignment is only possible if you and those you want to work with seek a common result that can't be achieved by any one of you alone. The first step is to name that result and a set of indicators so you're all on the same page about where you're going. Even with authentic agreement to a clearly understood common result, what people sometimes do doesn't add up. The four quadrants of aligned contributions are used to get groups moving together in the same direction and actively matching their actions to achieve results. Let's look at the grid. The vertical axis represents action, the work you're personally doing that is your contribution to achieving the result. The line moves from low action at the bottom to high action at the top. The line moving from left to right is alignment. The degree to which the actions you're performing are aligned with those of others working towards the same result. The line moves from low alignment on the left to high alignment on the right. The work of high action and high alignment with others requires a mental shift. If you're used to being the boss or the expert in the room, you might be most comfortable taking independent action, but you might be acting on your own agenda. If you're not consulting with others who have an important role in your work, you're in low alignment. Or you might be in complete harmony with the chosen strategy and have strong relationships with those you're working with. But if you're not taking the right kind of action to contribute to the result, you're in low action. Effective leaders aim for the upper right-hand corner, high action, high alignment. When you're in this corner, you have a leader implementing powerful strategies with the benefit of collaborative decisions and carefully cultivated relationships and you agree on the measures of success and work collaboratively to achieve them. You're in the sweet spot. Leaders can use a frame of high action and high alignment to assess themselves and their partners and stakeholders. It can be especially helpful when your group is not achieving its results or at the beginning of a new initiative. Honestly assessing where you stand and mapping out a strategy to get to high action and high alignment can get you moving towards results. When everyone you're working with is in the upper right hand corner, you can make real progress towards the results you seek. Learn more about tools for results-based leadership at www.aecf.org.